Yeah, I saw. Hey. This is about this is about the time I should say what time does the twelve o'clock meeting start, right? Twelve <laughs> ish. Yeah. Angie, I see you got my link, I guess. You know it's not good news when you get a call at eleven thirty from somebody in your group, right? <laughs> Okay, well, I guess we'll get started here with our. No, turn it down a little bit. Well, Sam, just make sure we remind everybody the link is always on the Facebook page. Well, that sounded like a good reminder in and of itself. But, and Angie, you and uh, Toby are not on the email distribution, so collectively, um, me, Dwayne, and, and um, Becky will have to get that list cleaned up, okay? I'm okay. sorry, who's, who's not on the list? Angie, you're not on the list? And Toby. And Toby. And their boss, Ken, who never comes, is on the list. Am I on there? I didn't Becky's look. Becky's on there. Becky's on there, I know. Yeah, I think some of them are, are just historical things. We'll yeah. We'll get it cleaned up here, especially in light of, uh, are you going to be able to take attendance today, Becky, or do you want me to? Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, let's get started with our 30-second commercials. And since we disrespected so thoroughly Angie and Toby, let's try to rectify that situation and let them bat number one and number two, okay? Toby, can you go first? Sure, absolutely. Toby with Digital Corporate Services. Uh, I spoke on the business over breakfast on Tuesday about recognizing your employees, showing some appreciation in the year of COVID. Uh, but I'd like to add that to that today. You know, some of the other audiences that have had a tough, particularly tough year, and not that we all have it, but to remember your teachers, your doctors, your nurses, and your clergy, and of course your best clients. You know, don't forget to show them some appreciation, maybe uh, in this challenging year of hell, <laughs> with the personalized gifts. You know, a warm, a warm blanket that can wrap around their legs when they're on Zoom calls or a nice aromatherapy candle to, you know, lighten their mood. Uh, Toby with Digital Corporate. Angie, top that. <laughs> Ditto. Uh, <laughs> hi, everybody. Angie, it's good to see you guys. I haven't been in on a meeting for um, a couple of times. Um, we're still a full source printing company. We're going like gangbusters. We have a new huge printer. And um, it can do all sorts of tricks. So if you need some printing, uh, please give us a call. And like Toby said, um, appreciate your employees and your clients. Thank you. Next, can we have two lovely ladies in alphabetical order, Amanda and Becky? Hi, everyone. This is Amanda. I'm from McKnight Insurance Services. Um, if you know anyone that's looking to upgrade or just needing someone to look at their policy, um, send them our way. We have over 70 years of experience, uh, especially in the commercial lines. So if you have anything or anyone that needs help or guidance with that, making sure that they have enough coverage or they're underinsured or what have you, um, we are more than welcome to help them out with that. Uh, once again, Amanda with McKnight Insurance Services. And hi, I'm Becky with River Legacy Foundation. And we're uh, very excited because we're less than two weeks away from our clay shoot. Wait, wait, here it is. Our clay shoot. And we have plenty of room for shooters and also um, we're looking for sponsors for our clay shoot. We usually have four fundraising events a year and we're just having this one this year. Woo! So that's exciting. We're also looking for prizes to go into our three cooler raffles. So we have three coolers that we're raffling off and there's a thousand dollars, at least a thousand dollars worth of prizes in these, and you can get your um, raffle tickets without ever even going to the clay shoot. I'm going to put a link on there, and so is Robert um, about how you can get those. Get in that um, 
they're Yeti coolers. They're really super cool. I think they're Yeti. They're those fancy coolers and um, super cool and ultra fun. We're also looking for volunteers who want to come out Sunday the 25th and help us out there. And if you would like to put something from your business into the cooler raffle, we'd be happy to promote you. It's Becky with River Legacy. Okay, next we'll have our co-chair, David Curtis, followed by the lovely and talented Heather Lee. And then we'll have third in batting order will be David from Colors. Hey everybody, David Curtis with Hops HR, your local HR guy. Uh, I'm here to help you with all your HR uh, uh, stuff. So uh, give me a call if you have any uh, trouble with your employees, uh, policies, uh, payroll, anything like that. I've got a webinar coming up on October 28th on common pay pitfalls for small businesses. So I'll put it in the uh, Facebook group and a link in the chat. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Heather at Southern Flare Photography. We have Santa coming in just over a month and times are filling up pretty quickly. So if you have kids or you have grandkids or you have nieces and nephews that want to see Santa this year, because he's most likely will not be in the malls or the big box stores, send them our way and get them that appointment. Um, we've got about four appointments left on the 15th, but a little bit more on the 22nd. And then on the other side of me, I am I'm also with Prima Travel Services. Let's start planning your vacation for 2021 or even 2022. Um, Disney just opened up their packages for the end of 21 this morning. So they are celebrating a big year um, starting October 1st next year. So let's start planning your next vacation. Good afternoon. This is David Berg with Colors Professional Floor Care. We clean everything you put your feet on and a whole lot more. An outstanding referral for me would be only anyone that has a floor and that's all of y'all. David Berg with Colors Professional Floor Care. The answer is always no unless you ask, so go ahead and ask. Thank you, David. Next, we're gonna have our presenter, Sean. And then after Sean, we'll have Meredith, and then our technical whiz, Robert. Hey there, Sean Reckemeyer, Elite Health Plans. Again, serving your healthcare needs for individuals and uh, groups. And I'll be doing some presenting later on a product that is, uh, I've mentioned before, a, a niche group product that's uh, a real money saver. So, thanks. Hi, guys. I'm Meredith with Miners Family. I'm going to let the lovely Diane do our pitch today, but it's good to see everybody again. Diane, you're turning the barrel. Hi, can you guys hear me? Okay, perfect. So a little bit about us, Miner's family. Um, we're more than just caregivers, we're family. And um, we can help with any needs, with non-skilled and skilled nursing needs. You need a catheter care, we're there for you. You need some light housekeeping, we're there for you too. So you can give us a call at Miner's family, or you can give me a call directly at 817-681-0806. And I'll link that down below. If you need any help, we're there. I realized Blake. that would be me. I was trying to think of something cute to say. Um, <laughs> that whole catheter thing kind of threw me for a bit. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm still reeling from that also. <laughs> so, uh, I'm Robert with Bit by Bit, uh, your friendly neighborhood computer guy. Um, we, we specialize in, in helping businesses uh, survive uh, through their technology. So we manage their uh, technology and secure their data. Uh, one of the things we're doing right now is offering free security uh, and computer network risk assessments. Uh, so if you know anyone interested or have a business that uh, might benefit for somebody looking under the covers to see what's going on, uh, we show you what's really there. So don't let your computer give you a fit, call bit by bit. Thank you, Robert. Next, can we have William from uh, Climate Experts and then Dr. Shabazz? and then Mike Walkenhurst. If you can't remember my name, I'm gonna to have to hang up. William. William with Climate Experts AC and Heating. 
How are you guys doing today? I provide sales service installation and maintenance of all your residential and light commercial HVAC needs. So we do your air conditioning, heating and ventilation and ducts, mostly in homes, but also small offices. Mm -hmm. This is a great time of year. Things are slowing down. Well, it's not great for me, but it's great for you. The consumers, we actually have a lot more time to do free estimates, uh, assess your needs, if your system needs to be replaced, maybe offer you some better deals. And also we usually add some things in the slower times when it's cooler out that we don't do during the summer, like insulation, um, attic tent for over your stairs uh, to help keep the heat coming in your from your stairs. Uh, maybe even put a solar fan in your attic, little things like that. So if you're in need of any of those things, we don't just, you know, fix your ACs. We can do the other add-ons as well. William with Climate Experts. Yeah. Hey. Hi, it's, uh, thanks Sam for mixing my first and my last names together. This yeah, is Dr. Yeah. Giovanna Parvez. I'm really good at that, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it took years of practice to do that. Oh, must be, you're good at it. <laughs> um, from Arlington Integrated Medical Center. So whether you're feeling blue, depressed, down, if you have the flu, whatever you got, whatever ails you, we've got the right therapy for you at Arlington Integrative Medical Center. Um, we have our sales still on B12 shots and vitamin D and lots of IV nutrients, anything you need to kind of get your system perked up, get your body in shape, uh, strengthen your immune system to get through this fall and winter season. So come check us out, Arlington Integrative Medical Center, Cooper and Road to Six Flags. Next, we've got Mike Walkenhurst, Dawood, and Jennifer Payne. Hi, it's Mike Walkenhurst, and um, it's always great to be here. Um, I want to let you know that um, we've got uh, rates that are still trending low, and even though some people have been worried that the election would cause some temporary uh, movements, the uh, fact is that uh, our one of our clients who's a mortgage-backed security trader said he thinks rates are going to stay low for the foreseeable future. So it's a great time to buy. It's a great time to talk about a refinance. And I'll talk you out if it, if it doesn't make sense. So give me a call. And for all your home loan needs, uh, we're here for you. Thanks. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Dawu Maybon with Maybon Leadership Group, where we help unlock your leadership potential. Uh, currently offering a complimentary one-hour virtual training of the Maxwell Method of DISC. I'll put a link in, and uh, what that link does is it allows you to schedule your virtual training based on your schedule uh, and your availability. So once again, this is Dawu Maybon with Maybon Leadership Group, where we help unlock your leadership potential. Thank you, Dawood. Jennifer, and then Kelly and Liz. Hey, everybody. It's Jennifer with Price Right Trees. You know, we're the residential and commercial landscaping tree removal company. Right now, we are pushing for people to get on the schedule for Christmas lights. Also, be on the lookout for episode two of Taking Roots. They just got through finished filming that this past weekend. So we're looking forward to that editing getting done and getting out on Amazon Prime. You guys have a great rest of your week. And Jennifer, I'd just like to comment, your boss having a show on Amazon makes you all the most interesting member of our group, I think, for now. Uh, and I did look at the first, I looked at the first episode, and it was quite interesting. So you, you might want to check it out on Amazon Prime. So next we have... Kelly Souter and Liz Madden. Good afternoon, everybody. I am so glad to see all your beautiful and handsome faces. My name is Kelly Souter, and I am your resident life insurance specialist. And the funny thing about life insurance is uh, you never want to pay for it until it's too late and you can't get it. <laughs> I was doing some research for a client and uh, um, I found out that a couple of my companies that I work with no longer want to offer any kind of life insurance to anybody above the age of 69. Um, that's not all of them, so you're still not uninsurable if you're over 69, but it's one interesting side effect of COVID and it targeting you know, older population is that life insurance companies don't want that risk. So get it while you're young and healthy. And guess what? You're never going to be younger than today. And hopefully we'll all get healthier, but possibly not. So 
Belly solder. I promise I will make it as painless as possible. And I'm a pretty fun person to talk to. So just come and talk to me and see what you might need. Transamerica Financial Services. Hi, Liz Madden with A Plus Academy Driving School. We have been teaching all of our classes online and kids are so happy to be not only out of their house, but finally inside of the car and getting their learner permits. One thing I do wanna let people know, check your licenses, see whenever you do need to get your documents renewed. DPS is doing everything online and through an appointment basis. You'd be surprised. Currently, most appointments are into March. So um, otherwise, past that fun fact, if you know anyone who drives like a fool, send them to driving school. <laughs> okay, did I miss anybody on the call? Okay, well, I'll do mine last in. I'm Sam Elliott of uh, Schooley Mitchell of Arlington. We help businesses and nonprofits save money on their telecommunications, their credit card processing, their small package shipping, and their waste cost management. I just got out of a meeting with a, a church here in Arlington, and we, we identified over $400 per month in savings from them. So a good, a good, uh, lead for me would be either your church or, or the nonprofit you prefer. So, uh, and I'll be glad to help them out. And, and if we can't find any uh, savings for them, of course, they, they'll owe us nothing. So, uh, Sam Elliott, Schooley Mitchell of Arlington. Okay. Anybody want to start us out on our thank yous? Raise your hand. Let's make this official. How about Miss Angie from Digital. Hi, I want to thank again Meredith Lawrence from My Nurse Family. Um, we're doing some things for them and we appreciate their business. And I think that's it at the moment. Oh, I'm working on some things for A Plus Driving School. So thank you, Liz and Patty. And that's it, I think. Sean? Yeah, I'd like to thank David Curtis for a great one-on-one, -on -one, uh, which turned into like a three-in-one uh, over there at Nouveau Desk, but uh, saw a couple of our members there, including Brian and the gang. But uh, we had a great one-on-one, -on -one and he also gave me a referral, and I appreciate that as well. Miss Heather Lee. Thank you to everybody that came to our open house last week. We had a blast and hope to see y'all in front of our lens sometime soon. And um, also Justin is not on, but I wanna go ahead and thank Justin. He is helping not only the studio out with our taxes, but my aunt Connie. David Curtis. Yeah, right back at you, Sean. Thanks for coming by uh, to help us out. I think you can uh, uh, do a lot of uh, good stuff for uh, Nouveau Desk. Uh, Dr. Uh, Parvez, thank you for being a client uh, and working through uh, all the payroll changes and stuff. Uh, Amanda, thank you for uh, the team over there at McKnight. Um, sent a few uh, uh, referrals over that way, so appreciate you guys being available. Thank you. Could could I see? Could you raise your hand if you're not getting uh, emails from the group? I've already got Toby and Angie. No, uh, any Diane? Okay. And so everybody else is okay. Taylor, hey, you're not getting. Them? You're not getting. Them? Amanda, um, Amanda, Diane. Toby and Angie, go ahead and um, in the chat, put your information. And um, I also put for everybody, if you have an opportunity for the group or something that you're promoting right now, um, put that in the chat and I'm um, copying and pasting them over and I'll put them in an email to us. So we have another way to get those, okay? So just put that in the chat for us too. We're going to swing back around to Mr. Paul Brody and let him talk for 30 seconds, please. Hey guys, uh, Paul Brody, Brody Consulting. Can you guys hear me okay? Okay, just making sure. I've had some technical issues today. Um, so, not really going to talk about the business. You guys all know what I do. Um, the main thing I want to talk about is just mental health right now. Um, you guys may have seen a post I put on earlier 
Um, today is 200th straight day of exercising for me. And guys, I'm going to tell you right now, it's saved my life. It's better than any prescription. And yes, I have looked at prescription medicine over the years. There's no better thing for it. It's totally changed my life. If you guys want to see the post, just go to my page. But, um, you know, getting on that bike now for 200 straight days has literally saved my life especially in these COVID times. So for you guys that are struggling right now, um, you know, if you can take us some exercise, a little meditation, um, it's better than any prescription you can get. Paul Brody, Brody Consultant, and I care a great deal about each and every one of you guys. Okay, going, circling back to thank yous, has anybody got any more? Dr. Parvez. I'd like to thank uh, David for, um, helping me get uh, work on uh, some quotes for uh, insurance and then trying to help me keep the business within the group. So thank you, David. And I'd like to thank the Heather and Dwayne Lee for having their open house last week. It was very nice. Their building, even if you couldn't make it, it you need to see their building. It's very nice. I got to see Amanda over there and uh, it, it's just a very, very top notch, photography studio. I'm proud to have them in our group. So any any more announcements or anything? Only thing I think is going on with the chamber that we need to talk about is the chamber after hours on the 26th. And that'll be virtual again. And as far as Becky's activity out there for the clay shoot, I've been out there three years in a row and I volunteered the last two. I have my own t-shirt for it. And uh, it's probably a good idea for me to be a volunteer rather than uh, be around people with guns and beer. So, so okay. Going to need uh, to present. Sean Reckemeyer, I can't hear you. Unmute. Sean, are you ready to present? Okay, there we go. I think I was just not talking. Can you hear me? I can hear you perfectly now, loud and clear. Okay. Is there one or two? Uh, presenters just want to know what I'm working with. Just one, right, okay. David? Just yep, one, just right? Just one. Okay, very good. Well, hello, everybody, again. Sean Reckemeyer, Elite Health Plans on the shirt. Um, <clears throat> thank you, Digital Corp. Um, I am going to go through a, a new product that's um, for small businesses, medium businesses, and we have worked with uh, one company that's got about 150 employees. And it is, uh, it's kind of a niche product, but it's really, uh, it probably serves 90% of most companies that I've talked to and, and that I've heard uh, presented. So without further ado, I'm gonna do a quick uh, run through on this short, uh, uh, it's about a seven slide PowerPoint here and uh, well, let me get it up to where we need it. And then I'm going to quickly jump over to a Blue Cross competitive quote or plan from their website so you can see what the difference is. But um, I don't know, am I presenter now or is it just showing me? I, I actually didn't look at that. We've got to get you to share screen. Okay, let me uh, get out of that PowerPoint real quick and... Share screen. Should just be able to share yeah. screen there. There you go. Okay. So now we're in PowerPoint mode. Oh well, yeah, we can see you perfectly. Okay. Not me, but the PowerPoint, good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so here we go. This is the Freedom Plan with USA Health Plans. Um, and it is a, uh, it's a product that really takes the best of uh, all worlds, I'll say both worlds of, uh, of coverage. It has an upfront coverage uh, with the Freedom Plan and then a catastrophic 
that catches everything uh, pretty quickly for major events. So uh, a few things that it, that it really uh, emphasizes, preventative coverage, office visits, prescriptions, pre-existing conditions, and it does have no deductible and it is affordable uh, for just about everybody. Um, the cool thing is it kind of comes in two parts. So some employees, they're either uh, um, lower on the totem pole or they just don't want to spend much money. You can opt in for just the freedom portion, which has a limit, or you can get the full package, which I'll show you here. But uh, basically the way it works is there's a, a preventative benefit, just like on a, uh, most ACA plans, um, pays for preventative 100%. The uh, primary care copay is $20, which is very low for products in the industry today. And right away, the plan kicks in. Instead of having a big deductible, like I can show you here in just a second, uh, it begins paying from dollar one. So if you go to the emergency room, you go in for surgery, you're having a baby, uh, it kicks in 50% from first dollar. Um, it pays up to tw up to $10,000 on the plan A. But the main thing is that if you had an MRI and it was $500, you would only pay 250. Um, it also covers drugs and specialists. So if you had a $50 prescription is 25 and um, if you had a $500 prescription, it'd be 250, but that's pretty comparable uh, or even better in some cases than uh, what you'll see on a traditional Blue Cross group plan that's out there right now. And then that's about the best coverage you can get from an ACA is Blue Cross today. Uh, United Healthcare and some of the others go up in price or they go to an HMO style uh, to be even competitive with the, with the Blue Cross which I am a broker. I work with every carrier out there. I've got clients on Blue Cross, United Healthcare, Cigna, Aetna, you name it, and companies you probably haven't heard of. So uh, I'm not uh, pigeonholing anybody into one product when I try to provide a solution. But this is one that really is, uh, is really helping out those that don't wanna spend uh, all their money on healthcare, which is a lot of smaller businesses, especially in Texas, because we are a more expensive state. But I did say that there was a limit on here. We have other plans that go a little higher. If those are more for standalone, if somebody just wanted the freedom plan and they didn't need the catastrophic coverage, but right away we have a, <clears throat> a catastrophic option and there's a, another option that's coming out here November 1. This is actually a health share, which has its pluses and minuses as some of you know, but this is a catch-all. Um, it's a non-network, um, catastrophic plan that basically gives you 100% coverage after, a, I'm trying to use my mouse, I can't see it here, 2750, oh, there we go, I'm getting, getting a call. It should go away in just a second. But um, there it is. it's a 2750 out of pocket per person and then 100% for the year. It's calendar year like most health plans, um, but it covers all facility coverage, um, hospital, surgery, outpatient care, um, not doctor's office and not pharmacy. Um, but it's, it's a very low out of pocket uh, expense at under $3,000. And I'll show you a comparable plan here in just a second um, with Blue Cross. Actually, let me jump to that right now. So, and, and then I can show you actually what the standard rates are on uh, this plan. And hopefully you can see this. This is a gold plan with Blue Cross. This is a set rate product uh, in Texas if you're under 50 employees. So if you say, give me a quote with Blue Cross, I'm a company with seven employees. I can tell you, it doesn't matter who you are or what, uh, how many employees you have. If you're under 50, you fall into this, this price guide. It's their preset. Uh, but this is a 3,000 deductible, um, 3,000 out of pocket, 3050 copay, plan with Blue Cross, and you can see in the far right, the drug prices are $10 to $250 copays. So, you know, it's not a, uh, it's not the best, um, you know, you could, you could have done a lot better probably 10 years ago on drug prices, but as they're going up and down, companies are having to adjust their benefits. But if you look on here, a, uh, 
let's just take a 50 year old. It's um, you can look to the age and the price it's $879. So if you have a husband and wife age 50, uh, you're looking at over $1,750, something like that per month. Well, uh, that's more than my house payment. And so uh, I wouldn't like that if I had to make that, that option. And if you're doing a family, with uh, 40 year olds and two kids, you're looking at $630 per adult and $376 per child. This is what, uh, you know, this is what I'm up against as far as a similar out of pocket coverage with the USA Health Freedom Plan. Uh, pre existing benefits are covered uh, in, in, in part of the plan. Uh, part of the coverage has uh, a two year wait. And so if there's any pre-existing, we, we can up that, uh, uh, the uh, benefits on the freedom portion. So there are some differences. This is an unlimited uh, Blue Cross and there are, uh, there's a limit of one to 3 million on the freedom plan. But, but uh, the cool thing is if you have a group of 10 and eight people are pretty healthy, they'll probably want the lower cost plan. And I'll show you the price. But if you've got a couple that are maybe uh, have a lot of, things going on medically, they can keep the Blue Cross in conjunction and have both pl plans running side by side. Uh, so I'll kick this back into high gear here and show you the uh, a quick uh, rundown. The, the prices on this are about $750 all in with the catastrophic, both parts per family, and you can bump it up to about 900 and get uh, the, the, the maximum coverage on there of 3 million per person. Um, but this plan is also really cool because it has a claims fund that is built into the premium. It's not separate. They pull that money out and then they wait for you to make claims. And as you go through the claims, it, they reduce that amount that's reserved. And on a family, uh, on the base plan, it's $200 a month, $100 for an individual. So as long as you don't use uh, $1,200 in uh, small claims like doctor visits and uh, drugs, which everything is reduced. So the amount the insurance company pays is a lot less than you think. So the small amount comes out, the smaller amount comes out of the claims fund. At the end of the year, the employer gets all the money that's left in that and they get to use that as a premium reimbursement or uh, employee incentive. And so uh, as we've uh, done the reporting on this, the average claims fund returned from all clients up to up to the date that this was put out a, a month ago is 38% of the total claims fund, which um, you know on 10 employees is going to be, you know, uh, $20,000. So $15,000. It's pretty pretty good uh, return on investment and premium. And of course, with the package, you can have access to a $5,000 dental plan per year, which is really high vision product, uh, and a couple of gap and and you also get worldwide travel assistance as well as included um, for free is the teledoc service, which is a free benefit. There's no copay for that. So I really wanted to just highlight this plan real quickly. That's kind of a, a brief overview of what I go through with employers. And um, most people don't get to see that much detail without uh, running an actual quote. But, but you know, um, that's what we try to do at, at my uh, agency and the group that I'm affiliated with is find solutions that aren't, you know, uh, we already know the solutions that are mainstream, but provide alternatives to that. And as we've had a little bit of a, uh, ups and downs with the health share market being a, a viable al alternative to uh, the Affordable Care Act products, um, we've learned some lessons there. This product really um, eliminates the upfront uh, hassles that some of those uh, health share plans have had on doctor visits and lab tests and things like that. That's all covered by an insurance company at dollar um, one and uh, pre-existing is covered in, in, as well. So that really provides a, a solution that uh, fits most needs in a, in a company setting. And, uh, and we can break it down into, into half of that and get a real low price usually uh, less than $100 a month for the employee, usually free actually, for the employee to get uh, the, the base package on there. So any questions, I was gonna say open chat, but it's hard for me to see. So maybe raise your hand or shout. Hey, Sean, it's David. Hi. 
Hey, uh, could you explain uh, some of the big differences between like an ACA plan and this, uh, you know, plan that you've just covered? Um, you know, maybe some of the major uh, differences between them. Well, um, as I explained to you the other day about the Blue Cross uh, quote um, and, and rates, like I said, for um, the ACA law didn't just affect individuals with low income, you know, and give them an alternative or assistance, if you will. Um, it, it actually, and I don't know if you can see me or my screen, I think it's still screen, but um, let me switch it here if I can. Uh, yeah, if you just uh, stop sharing. Okay. It keeps moving on me. There we go. Um, yeah, so the, the uh, ACA um, rolled into the group market and defined large and small companies. So large companies are pretty much doing business as before um, for the most part, but they do have to have the, you know, the higher deductible, the, the, the set uh, limits on out of pocket, which really pushed the limits up, not down and then made them unlimited. Um, so if you have a non-ACA plan, uh, it gives companies the freedom, and usually that's either a grandfathered or what's called an ERISA plan. It allows them the freedom to choose what they want to do from a deductible copay and, and uh, max coverage. Uh, so the benefits can be tweaked a little bit. Sometimes that can be bad, and sometimes that can be good. As long as they're not trying to trick anyone or, you know, put uh, a lot of uh, fine print on their policies, then, then it can be a good thing because it's usually a standard coverage, a, sta a standard uh, guideline that they go by. Um, and then they, they can adjust their premium a lot more, uh, which is not allowed on an ACA plan. So ACA controls the premiums, the rate increases and the coverages, but the more control you put on an insurance company, uh, kind of like the flood insurance and, um, uh, you know, on the, on the coastline and, and uh, some of the other high claim areas. Health insurance is a high claim product. So if you tell them what they can and can't do, uh, they're going to go to worst case scenario. And that's what small group is for all of the companies that are available in, uh, in Texas and across the U.S. They've max, max rated up their product uh, as soon as they could and th so that they whenever they ask for a rate increase uh, from the government, they can get approval because they're only allowed an eight or 12% rate increase annually uh, on small group. Large group, I've seen 30% rate increases, 20% rate increases. It's not pretty over there either, but. Uh, what, what, what constitutes a large group? Uh, we, we just had to switch insurances at, at bit by bit uh, mm -hmm. because ours was more than going to double, uh, which e even my plan switching to the new supposedly better plan was an extra thousand dollars a month. Um, so yeah. now I'm paying $2,800 a month for our family. <laughs> well, give me a holler and let, let me show you if there's any other viable options. But the, the rule is currently 50 employees or more um, that, and they use a full-time equivalency scale. Okay. It's not just uh, you're just, you know, it's not 30 hours. It is 30 hours, but um they, uh, they calculate that based on part-time employees, uh, their hours in a, in a calculation as well. So if you had 30 employees um, full-time and you had 60 part-time, you're probably gonna be a large group with all those part-timers added up to a full-time status. So uh, you could almost say two, uh, two part-time employees working 15 hours is a full-time employee, but it, I don't think it's exactly that. So is this, uh, just to clarify something, uh, Sean, is your, the Freedom Plan that you mentioned, that's an ACA plan? No, it is not. It's an ERISA plan, so they don't have to go by the standards. Okay, good. Uh, and the second question them. is, is it possible to buy only the catastrophic? Yes, those come in two. Uh, you, you cannot get the Freedom without having at least two employees, and it is on a group basis. Okay, so the minimum is two employees? for that uh, freedom plan, but the catastrophic does come in an individual and group option. Okay, great. Yep. So we'll probably be giving you a call to okay. have you yeah. come to us. Yeah. Thank you. I, I did also want to mention, I was uh, with the USA Health Plans. They just announced today, it's not av available until next week, but they have a brand new individual guaranteed issue, pre-existing covered uh, day one 
plan and it does not have a deductible. It's only co-pays. It does have a couple of uh, limitations on uh, the hospital side, um, but it is, it is not a dollar amount limit. So uh, I'm really interested in, in looking at that with a you know fine tooth comb, which I don't use anymore uh, <laughs> for myself, but uh, that's a gray light, by the way. These are not, I have uh, blonde hair. So anyway, um, but there's a, there's a new product that, uh, that I'm interested in looking at for individuals, which is the hardest place to find good coverage. Um, individuals, you know, uh, the smaller the group, the less the, the insurance companies can, can guarantee because they don't have a pool per se to cover those expenses. So any other questions? Thank you. <laughs> well, we've got quite a bit of time. I, I was just fully, I, so a subject as complex as healthcare, I thought we'd have a lot more questions. Uh, Sean, we've been with you for a number of years. Uh, if you're having problems with your claims procedure, what's the escalation for that type of stuff? Well, I don't know. It depends on what kind of product you're looking at, I guess. But, you know, I have full-time staff at my office. Um, that's why I have to rent out little offices. Um, I've got basically three here with uh, two full-time employees during the off peak season and then usually three or four during peak season, which starts next month. Um, and we, uh, we work with the companies, the carriers, uh, with USA Health on their product line. Uh, with uh, processing uh, problems with claims and and really just advocate for our clients, uh, you know, after the sale. So, uh, you know, we just want to make sure we're available, you know, pretty much 24-7, but, you know, not evenings. But uh, any day that there's a, a question or a need, you know, we can send an email, phone call. Uh, if I get involved, it's usually yelling. Uh, at somebody because uh, I just don't, uh, you know, like bull from uh, people that are reading from a screen. A lot of insurance carriers, you know, they they type something in and it tells them what to say. And I've been dealing this for 23 years in the business. And, and I try to get them, you know, to engage with me as a human being. And I guess spitting sometimes gets their attention. But um, I always want to make sure that uh, whether it's Blue Cross or, uh, you know, a new company up and comer, that they're, they're uh, doing what's expected. So I'm not sure exactly what you meant by the question, but, but I know that we, have, we get involved um, if there's an issue. And, and I can tell you that the claims process for insurance, the, um, if, if the president and the, the czar of insurance uh, and HM, C, CMS <laughs> and HHS would call somebody like myself and groups like uh, that I'm a part of, and ask how can we help fix healthcare? We could tell them in five minutes how to fix it because um, it's really like uh, you know it's like uh, no offense, but going to Mexico and trying to buy you know some blankets and stuff. You know, there's a negotiation process that's you know depending on how good you are, you know you can get a better deal, and um, and maybe you get some chiclets on the way out heading back, but. Um, you know, the, the PPO HMO plans, as well as the um, networks and negotiation process, that's all the same thing, is really nonsense. Um, doctors need what they need to charge, and so do dentists, and so do, um, you know, I guess pharmacy, but they start off at an astronomical high number, and then require the insurance, if you have it, or the client, if you don't, to whittle it down based on either a pre-negotiated amount or post. And there are some carriers that are non-network that are saying, hey, we're gonna call the hospital afterwards and say, or before, and negotiate a rate based on Medicare. Uh, I wish they would just get rid of the network process and the negotiation and say, I charge 1.5 of Medicare, I charge two times Medicare, and use the standard that's available in every state, every city, uh, which is the Medicare rate, which is very low. Uh, mm -hmm. We have a doctor here and I'm sure she can attest. Medicare doesn't pay a doctor enough to, you know, that's like minimum wage for a doctor, but um, we could get rid of the process. And so we get involved in a lot of that. <clears throat> Agreed. 
You agree. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thank, any other questions for Sean? Well, when we, we changed uh, our leadership just this month, we had a, a bunch of promises of things we're going to try to do different and stuff. And one of the things was to continue our charitable efforts. Has anyone uh, stumbled upon a worthy charity or something uh, last year or earlier this year, we were involved with uh, Spear Elementary, um, which was appropriate since David Durham was a graduate up there. So Becky, did do you want to offer something for a discussion? Yeah, um, David Berg, are you still on here? Yeah, there you are. Um, will you tell about your um, efforts that you're doing? I think that's a great thing to support. Yes, happily. Uh, thank you for that. And it's not really a Dave Berg or Rotary or Chamber thing. It's um, going to get every police officer in Arlington a $20 gift card to any restaurant in Arlington that is police friendly. We are about still sitting around one quarter of the way there. Um, it's uh, 629 police officers. That's $12,580. Several people on this group have already donated or committed, and I appreciate that. Um, that's it. I mean, we just want to give it. Nobody gets any credit. I don't want any credit. Uh, we just want to tell them that we appreciate them being putting their lives on the line every day and get a $20 gift card to a restaurant. Thank you. Hey, David, quick question for you. Um, in regards to this, are we able to send direct donations to you? Do we need to buy the gift card? What's the process? Because this is awesome. Whatever is easier for you. I've picked them up. Um, I've had people send me money. I've had people give me cash. It, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, whatever it takes to get 629 $20 gift cards. All right. One other question. If we do credit card or check, do we make it out to a specific person, organization, or do we just need to send you money? Um, right now, just send me money. I have spoke to the uh, Arlington Police Association president. She's supposed to get back with me, which is... Uh, Mrs. Tenderholt, if y'all know her, um, they're going to help out as well. Uh, that's a 501c3. I know that was an issue with some people. Um, whatever makes you comfortable, if you want to wait on that, I mean, we're not going to get this done until probably Thanksgiving because it's, it's $12,580. It's a big elephant. And so whatever makes you comfortable, you can send the money to me and I'll send you a picture of the cards I buy, or you can buy the cards at your favorite restaurant. Really, it, it's, it doesn't matter to me at all. Like Becky went to uh, Spring Creek. And she got gift cards, which is awesome because Spring Creek is awesome. Uh, it's whatever you want to do. And, and I don't mean to keep going on, but yeah, whatever well, makes David, it easier you, for you, I'll do it. David, might I suggest that uh, we all buy these from whatever restaurants we want to um, incent. Uh, and then we can send you the cards. And that way, the, the, our favorite restaurants get part of the reward, right? What, um, that that that's exactly what I wanted, but some people don't want to yeah. do that. But right. yeah, please do, please. Yeah, do. just make it easy um, on yourself. But I'm going to go. I'm going to go there, spend my money at the restaurants I like. You know what I mean? This is specifically for food, right? So it's not like an Amazon gift card or anything like that. It's specifically for a restaurant. I mean, yeah, that's that was the goal. You know, I was eating. I was eating at a restaurant in Fort Worth, and I saw some police officers. I was with my daughter, and I was like, "Hey." I told the waitress, "Hey, let me buy their meal." And she comes back. She goes, two other people already offered." And I was like, "Well, get get some gift cards then, and give them each a gift card to here, and you know, just as easy as it can be. And that way, everybody has a food card instead of you know, hey, well, I got an Amazon card or whatever." Right. But really, it don't matter. If you want to do it to Amazon, give me a twenty dollars Amazon card. That I'm fine yeah, with that. Doctor Parvez, did you? You have Zelly? Yeah, David, do you have Zelly? I mean, that might be an easy way too. If you could say, if you have Zelly or one of those, you know, I, I then do. Yeah, if you have Zelly, Hello, maybe you just put it in yeah. the chat your email address and your phone number for Zelly, and we can even just transfer it to you. That sure, might be sure. I, I have Zelly. I don't have PayPal. I have Cash App. And yeah, email. anything. If you have something like that, that it would be much easier for us to virtually do it without sure, having to sure, sure, mail sure, or drop sure, off sure. cards. Sure, um, I can definitely do that. Well, I think you can say it on Facebook too. Yeah, and let, let's yeah, make well, this let's make this official, everybody. Let's just say for this quarter, for Q4 of the year, this is a charity that we're supporting. Okay, so Becky, if you wouldn't mind putting that in the uh, the meeting for next, the notice for next week, and that way we'll be officially doing this, and I think that'll give us a little more traction, David. Thank I'm you so much. I, I really don't want it to be about me, though. I, it, it really needs to be about the police officers. I don't want any credit. Let's just do this. And thank you so much. Becky, you, you raised awesome. your hand very yeah. politely. Uh, 
I think it's very, I think it's wonderful. And, um, you know, I think Amazon gift cards are great too, but I love the fact that we're supporting the police and we're supporting local Arlington restaurants if we can. Um, right. yes. And, yes. you know, I, I picked Spring Creek because, um, well, first of all, it's delicious. And um, <laughs> you don't get cheeks like these from not enjoying your Spring Creek barbecue. Um, but I, I feel like, you know, they're so great to support our community and uh, they support our police. Um, I wanted to say that my Boy Scout troop and my Sunday school class, which are both for people with intellectual disabilities, they're um, giving um, Scout Saver cards and um, Starbucks and uh, Salter Brothers gift cards um, to the Arlington Police Association, which is different than the Back the Blue. I love both of them, but um, just talking to um, JP about that, he's the president of the Arlington Police Association. They just need to feel how much we love and respect them right now. Um, you know, there's so many good stories of what the police do that don't make the news. And um, I just really appreciate David, who I won't name again, David Berg, at all, David Berg, um, for thinking this up and getting us going, because I just think it's such a great thing. And I think, you know, everybody I've told has said, oh, yeah, that's great. I want to do it. So we just have to spread it out, ripple it out. I agree. And, and just real quick, I'll let y'all know, I did volunteer at the front desk for seven years, uh, two days a week, and it was like doing a ride along every single day. It's one of the coolest things I ever did. And uh, so I, I know a lot of police officers and they, they, they're all good. There's, there, there's some bad ones. Don't know them. Don't want to know them. Let's get rid of them. But, you know, they're, they're doing it. Thank y'all so much. Seriously. Well, listen, let's, let's do, let's make this quite official. Uh, all that are in favor of going forward with the gift card program, raise your hand. Okay, opposed, raise your hand. Okay, so it's official. We did, we, we're doing this and this is our charitable uh, effort for Q4, okay? Sean, I just, uh, are you trying to vote four times? Yes, uh, wanted to uh, ask if, if we have a restaurant that wants to donate uh, free twenty dollar meals, but they don't, but they don't do gift cards. I'm thinking of Sal Joe's Pizza. I know he's real big with military and probably police and guns. But um, you know, if he says, "Yeah, I'll, I'll give five meals," you know, hundred dollars worth of meal. Is there a way to do that? You know, on top of a gift? Because I don't know if he has gift cards. <laughs> imagine he'd just like print out a piece of paper yeah. and sign it or something if you asked him to yeah it sounds like you, you could work through that so yeah just work with your individual restaurant managers and owners and and uh let's keep the money in arlington huh yes and and i have another guy that's going around with the cash that i've collected up my rotary gave like a thousand dollars and he's getting them to match like he said hey if i buy five will you give me five and some of them have been paper. So, I mean, whatever they're willing to give, a, a business card or whatever is fine. It's, it's all about getting every single patrol officer a gift card. Okay, great. Well, we, we're all agreeing to it. Any, any more? We've got a minute and 30 seconds before our drop dead date. Uh, any final comments? I just, I just want to say again, um, if you didn't get an email from me today, this morning, um, put it in the chat and it, since we're so close just email me becky and at riverlegacy.org um, but if you put it in the chat i copied it over and i'll send that out to everybody and add you to the list <laughs> sorry i missed some people it was just a historical list that i used it happens all the time okay a and g quick question I, I just had a quick question i'm sorry somebody was in my office and is this just for arlington police department or how much wider spread are you going? Well, since we started, since I started it for Arlington, if we get more than 629, definitely, you know, you know what, if you want to do it for you, your Mansfield, you know, that's fine. I, I'm just working on Arlington because that's where I live. And like I said, I volunteered yeah. at the police station for seven years. Yeah, no, um, I have walk-ons as a client 
Okay. So I'm going to ask them if they'd like to do something. Hey, this could evolve into the he greater Arlington Drive. Chair. Yeah, Pantigo and Darlington Gardens. Greater Arlington. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Thank you. I have a quick quick question and I will definitely play the I'm sorry I had a preemie baby and have been out of it card so if everybody else knows the answer I apologize. Um, I once upon a time had a spreadsheet with all of our current phone numbers and names and everything like that. Is there a, a super current? I mean I have ones from months ago but not from super current. Is there one? Yeah Kelly. Okay. Uh, Dwight, Dwayne is the master of the list. He hasn't handed it off to uh, Becky, but he, okay. you know, he, he intends to, but we also want to clean it up because there's 20 or so people that we haven't seen since the pandemic, you know? So we, we need sure, to- absolutely. We need is to have- still doing the audit? So we're going to probably have two lists. We're going to have a, a historical list so you can get a hold of those people. And we'll also have an active members list, okay? Brilliant. Really quick, would somebody that has my phone number um, text me Dr. Shabana's, I think I said her name right, information, because that's who I was specifically looking for. Hey, Sam, I had one thing to ask. Is the chamber still doing that audit, or what's going on there? Uh, no one's given me an answer to that, and I'll ask again. And I think the answer is, the, the real answer is, since Gina left, m more people are doing more things. And that's not to be an excuse. It's just we haven't got much output from them lately. So I will be ever vigilant. So it's time to go away. Wish everyone a great, happy, prosperous week. And thank you to our speaker, Sean. And everybody be well. Bye, everyone. Bye. Have a great week. And weekend, woo woo! I finally figured out why Sam never saw me raise my hand. I had my video off the whole time. Yes, you did. <laughs> what did you need to say, Robert? Well, I actually posted a little thing, which, well, I'm not uh, telling everybody to donate to River Legacy, which is certainly the first place that you should be donating to. Uh, I'm yeah. also loosely involved with uh, HDMP International, and I never get the words in order, but basically it's helping hands uh, and they, they support the homeless. My, me and my kids got involved with them last Christmas and went out and donated in Dallas and Fort Worth um, blankets to the homeless. And they do all sorts of soup kitchens, things like that. They are having a gala that is coming up uh, here in Arlington uh, due to COVID. Me and my family will not be attending, but if you'd like to support a great local cause, uh, it started here in Arlington and is uh, very rapidly growing. Uh, you should look into it, uh, post it, and, and we'll probably be talking about it sometime in the future. Okay. I'll, I'll put it in the email. Cool. Novel. Take care. <laughs> I love and it. Bye -bye. Kelly, um, did you get yes, my, did you get an email from me this morning? I think so. Yeah. Yes, ma'am, I did. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. I found I found Dr. Is, is it Shabana? Am I saying it right? I don't have it memorized yet. Um, I found her email address. And so I emailed her, but I was looking for her phone number because I, I don't. 